In recent years, people have been talking a lot about carbon emissions and carbon footprints. What they're talking about are greenhouse gases which contain carbon. A lot of times, a measurement of how polluting some factory or a country or a household is, is by pounds of carbon released into the air. This is a bad measurement because different gases that contain different amounts of carbon have vastly different greenhouse effects. One of the amazing things about carbon is that it has four valence electrons. It may sound right now like I'm speaking Greek, but what this means is it wants to bond to four different atoms, and this allows it to make extremely complex, long, wide, deep molecules. And these molecules are the key to life. Carbon is one of the very few, if not the only element that has had an entire branch of chemistry dedicated to it. For carbon, it's called organic chemistry or the chemistry of life and living compounds. The line between biology and organic chemistry is very, very, very fuzzy. So you have carbon to thank for being around for making your proteins, your DNA, and most of what makes you, you. Because carbon has four valence electrons and wants to bond to four atoms, this is what allows it to essentially, maybe, give rise to life. A lot of, scientific, uh, a lot of science fiction writers have taken up this very fascinating idea, which I love, which is to take the element right below carbon, which is silicon, and then build life forms out of silicon compounds, because silicon also has four valence electrons. So it can also form these really long, complex chains, with chains which might give rise to life. Instead of having carbon, let's say in this hexane here, well, what if you take silicon, which is the element right below carbon, which also has four valence electrons, so also wants to bond to four other atoms, what if you take that and put, let's say, hydrogen around that? When you burn that, instead of turning into carbon dioxide, it's going to turn into silicon dioxide and water. Silicon dioxide is sand, so if you burn it, it's going to turn into wet sand. This is probably not an answer to pollution because this gas, the me this methane, or you could also have hexane that's with silicon instead of carbon, but methane with silicon instead of carbon, called silane, is pyrophoric, meaning the minute it hits air, it com spontaneously combusts. So it's not probably the answer to, to answering today's pollution problems, but who knows?